Hi everyone, it's Johnny Cope here, or otherwise known as Johnny McBoing Boing on my YouTube channel. Apologies I haven't posted any new videos for a while, but I've been really busy on a whole load of projects. Um, but I wanted to tell you about this latest one, which I'm pretty excited about, which is the fact that I'm going to be selling exclusively here in the UK and in Europe uh, the Yudaki Didgeridoo, the Yudaki Super Slider, which I want to show you now and uh, demonstrate. This didgeridoo, um, there's no didgeridoo is going to be able to play everything. It's not like a do-it-all didgeridoo, but this one comes very close. Uh, it's very nicely packaged in what I would call a professionally made travelling case. Very well padded. Nice big pocket on here and an adjustable carrying strap. Um, access is via the bottom, via this uh, zipper here. And everything's inside. Um, so I'm going to take one that I've already opened out and show you what's inside. You get a didgeridoo, um, which is effectively carbon fibre stroke resin uh, manufacture. Um, really nice and, and light, but also solid and strong. It's got a, a bit of decoration on here. Um, and the screw, screw on bell section, which I'm just going to screw off at first, just to demonstrate that for you. Um, it's quite a long screw section. So this is really pretty big. Um, you can see the size of that bell there. Um, and that ships with this up inside it in, in the package. And so you're getting the main didgeridoo body, the bell, um, and then the two sliding components. And I'll explain why in a little while. We've got a long slider, um, which has got a nice shaped wooden mouthpiece, and then a short slider. Um, and I'll take that out of the main body and show that to you so that you, you've got a difference in length like that. So it's just the crossover of keys, it's just how they work um, for lower keys or higher keys and I'll explain that as well. So let's start with just the didgeridoo section. So you've got a bell that looks like that and you know, have a look at the body with all the resin work on it. And then without the sliding component, this has also got a basically a rolled top mouthpiece on it. And so this is our first section. Which really does anything you'd uh, need it to. All the horn notes and everything. Um, and then we can add a slider section. Let's start with the small slider. And obviously if I push that all the way in, then you start up in the high keys. You've got a dynamic slide if you want that, or obviously a slide in tune. Then we can go ahead and add the bell back on, which takes a little while because, as I showed you, it's got quite a, a long screw section. So we'll just spin that on. Really nice tight fit, so no wobbling or anything, it's really solid. Uh, and with this on, this, this didgeridoo is probably six foot, about six foot three, six foot four. I'm just a shave off six foot, and it's well above my head. So it's already getting pretty long with this big, big fat bell on the end. And it's got really good, solid resonant sound. <laughs> sound with the voice and one of the two notes and again the drop on that Take it 
this section out, the short slider, and, and the long slider, then things get very interesting because uh, I'll start this all the way in, or well, part way in. of sound even though the end of this slider then now is about here in the main body um, but if I take this all the way out then we're actually talking about a nine foot long did we do um, and this gets kind of fun <laughs> multi-drone, multi-toot style. It's just something that I think this is going to be the lead into for me. So I'll try and demonstrate the first couple of O-tones. multi-drone is definitely possible with this style of didgeridoo. Um, so it really for me it opens up a, a lot of possibilities in, in one package which all all collapsed down in back of this case is um, barely two and a half kilos. Um, so it's it's very uh, friendly for, for, for traveling around for festivals uh, and probably plane traveling as well and it's very robustly made. Um, and I'm, I would be really happy with the, the sound quality of this. I've tried it on various microphones um, and would be happy to be moving all my sort of gig um, related, especially foreign gig and traveling gigs, um, to using this on stage um, and also for recording. Uh, I think it's a, a really good option. Um, it's not got all the tones of wood, but I think from comparing it from a lot of my wooden didgeridoos, I'm really very happy with this. It goes way beyond some of the other sort of plastic sliding did you do that are out there? Not to knock those, they're also great as well, but it's just that this has got a fuller, more resonant sound, some deeper uh, components to the sound. So, um, yeah, really uh, impressed with them, which is why I want to, to sell them and, and share them with everyone else. So, um, be in touch if you want to find out more. You'll find a link to Sound for Health, which is my main shop now. You'll sign, uh, find them uh, advertised on there. They're currently £300 UK, and I'm doing some special offers at the moment. You get a free tuition DVD, whether or not you need that. Uh, if you're a, a well-versed player, you might not. You, we can always give it to someone. Uh, and I'm also offering for a very limited time in the UK only some free shipping options. Um, at the moment, these are going to be only available in the UK and Europe. Um, if you elsewhere, then look out for uh, Dr. Dij um, over in Australia, who's going to be handling the worldwide supply of these. Uh, or I think also Dij, Dij Beth in the USA is going to be stocking them soon as well. So. Um, Find out about more of those and be in touch if you'd want. And I, I, I can't recommend them enough. I think they're awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye now.